Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel uh, Technotrade Triple One. Uh, today I'm going to uh, give you a, a stock which is going to be a multi bagger in the upcoming days. Okay, but you should be having a lot of patience to hold this stock, and I'm pretty sure this stock is going to deliver uh, best returns by next two to three years. As you can see on the uh, screen. I'm going to uh, brief you about a stock which is into manufacturing of electric buses in India. So it is Electra Green Tech Limited. It is formerly known as Goldstone Infratech Limited. It is a Hyderabad based company and the promoter of this company is MEIL. So people who are from Hyderabad uh, must be knowing about this company very much. So here I am going to discuss about in-depth analysis on electronic bus market in India and Electra Green Tech Limited for long-term investment. Yeah. So first of all, uh, why government is planning to move into electronic uh, buses or electronic vehicles is to curb pollution. As you can feel whenever you are on roads, there's a lot of pollution on the roads. So to decrease the pollution levels in the air to curb the carbon monoxide emission levels from the air government is planning to come to this electronic vehicle seg segment but as of now if you see the penetration in india is very very less and it is expected to grow at least uh, in a significant uh, manner in the next three to four years so I am going to uh, give you presentation on very various uh, from the various sources that I have collected on uh, electronic vehicle buses and its impact in India. Uh, before going into further presentation i request you to please subscribe to my youtube channel technotrade triple one and follow me on twitter and telegram for more updates so here i am going to present you about the electronic bus market in india i have collected the information from various uh, articles available on google google okay so here india nowadays is changing a lot and uh, the demand for basic needs like housing, water, sanitation, and transportation is increasing nowadays. Guys, I'm not going to read everything whatever the, is there on the slide because you people will feel this as a theory. So whatever important points are there, I will cover that. Anyways, this presentation is available so you can refer it at a later point also. So if you see uh, in 2001, the number of vehicles available were 55 million and it it has almost increased to 192 million in 2015. So currently in India, there are 1.6 million registered buses, sort of which only 170,000 are operated by public bus operators. So why someone should move to electric buses is to reduce the carbon dioxide emission levels and also to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels like petrol and diesel. So it, it is the same. The average cost of uh, hybrid or electric buses is three to four times higher than diesel buses, which means uh, why people are reluctant uh, to go to to switch to electric buses is the cost of uh, this electric bus is almost three to four times higher than the normal bus. And uh, further with the decrease in cost of diesel, there is not much incentive for the operators to shift to hybrid or electric buses. And some cities like Delhi and Mumbai are using clean fuel like CNG for bus operation. Here I'm giving a comparison of uh, different bus technologies. There are four kinds of bus technologies. Uh, hybrid electronic vehicles or hybrid bus. It has the three segments. One is parallel hybrid electric uh, vehicle. The second one is series hybrid electric vehicle. And the third one is series parallel HEV. And the other technology that is available is battery electric vehicles or BEVs or BE bus. So you can see here comparison uh, of you know uh, diesel buses, CNG, hybrid electric bus, and pure electric bus. 
this is all you know how much mileage it is going to give how many seats are there what is the length of the bus width of the bus height of the bus what is the average cost and all is clearly mentioned here if you see uh, for a typical volvo 8400 ac bus it cost 88 lakh whereas for tata star bus non ac or ac it is almost like 33 lakh rupees for tata star bus ac non ac it is 30 lakh rupees uh, whereas for Tata Star Bus Hybrid, it is 1.2 to 1.4 crore. Whereas uh, for BYD or Battery Electronic Vehicles, uh, BE Bus, it cost 2 to 3 crore. So if you see, the cost is high for these electric vehicles, and uh, that's the reason you know most of the uh, states or you know governments or some many private uh, operators uh, are finding it difficult to switch to uh, these electric buses. So, how government is trying to promote, uh, you know, people buying more and more uh, electric buses? People in the sense, the governments, okay? Government, state government, beach state government, or a public uh, trans public operator or a private operator. So here, here government of India has launched the, you know, National Electric Mobility Mission Plan (NEMMP) in 2020 to accelerate the growth of the electric and hybrid components of the automotive sector. So it has launched a scheme to promote this particular segment. It focuses primarily on fast tracking the manufacturing and introduction of EVs in India. EVs in the sense electric vehicles. So the other department of uh, heavy industries DHI has launched a uh, concept called FAME. So what is FAME? FAME is faster adaption and manufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicles in april 2015 to promote manufacturing of electric and hybrid vehicles in india in simple it is fame concentrate on promoting electric and hybrid vehicles in india so as a part of any mmp so fame has you know about funds of 8 billion dollars to invest in electric mobility based initiatives so they are trying to promote electric mobility based initiatives. So this fund was allocated for duration of two years and will expire in 2017. However, an extension is being requested. So DHI mainly concentrate on four proposals. Of one is a physical and tax ecosystem to encourage customers to opt for electric vehicles. Exactly. The second one is purchase of electric or hybrid vehicles. Third one is pilot project for city buses. So city buses means in, in the city transportation. And the fourth one is supporting infrastructure. Okay. So as per FAME India guidelines, the funding will be provided to cities covered under smart cities initiatives. So as a part of Narendra Modi smart cities, FAME mainly concentrate on funding the cities covered under smart city program. The funding will be given in the form of demand incentive. The demand incentive shall be available for buyers in the form of an upfront reduced purchase price to enable wider adoption. What it says is for those cities covered under smart city program launched by the government of India. Here the fame guideline says whenever the buyer is purchasing a vehicle upfront reduce the price discount will be given to the buyer so in that way it promotes the adoption of electric vehicle so currently if you see there are some states which have adopted uh, the electric buses the first one is navi mumbai municipal transport in mumbai and the second one is mumbai metropolitan regional development authority in mumbai the third one is best mumbai best means you know it's a local transportation in mumbai the fourth one is Himachal Road Transport Corporation and the fifth one is Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation BMTC and the last one is Thane Municipal Transport. And if you see the Green Urban Transport Scheme because it is trying to reduce pollution levels in the air, it comes under Green Urban Transport Scheme. So here in Ministry of Urban Development uh, which is a uh, wing of government of India has launched green urban transport scheme enabling a shift towards electric vehicles for public transport and use of non-fossil fuel for powering vehicles. Non-fossil fuel means excluding uh, 
petrol and diesel the total cost of the project will be around INR 800 billion so the cost of this project is 800 billion rupees so the government will give funding to 105 cities which will be selected through competition okay the funding of the scheme will be 50 50 between state government and central government okay is it clear 50 50 between state and central government so the ministry also has proposed the grant of 200 billion okay INR already and rest may come from multilateral banks and state governments so government has already given 250 billion uh, rupees as the initial funding and the remaining will come from uh, banks and state governments so who are the most prominent uh, manufacturers of electric buses in India there's some uh, prominent uh, manufacturers in electric buses in India and they have already partnered with some of the international players across the world the first one is Ashok Leyland limited so it has partnered with Opter of UK the second one is JBM Auto Limited. It has partnered with Solaris Bus and Coach Poland. And the third one is Deccan Auto Limited. It has partnered with Zhongtong Auto Company, China. And the fourth one is Goldstone Infratech Limited or Electra Green Tech. It has partnered with BYD Auto Industry Company, China. So these are the four uh, prominent players in electric vehicles manufacturing in India. So what is the uh, future of electric buses in India? So, under the Narendra Modi's administration flagship e-mobility program, PAIM2, plans or effort to deploy 5,095 e-buses across cities with state transit authorities partnering manufacturers like Electra. So, here comes our Electra. So, according to Narendra Modi's PAIM2, he is planning to deploy 5,095 e-buses across Indian cities. So, over their lifetime, this fame to buses will run 3 billion kilometers without tailpipe emissions. So what does it mean is over their lifetime, they will run 3 billion kilometers without emitting any of the gases. So they save almost 77 lakh barrels worth of oil, which is a huge thing and 6 lakh tons of carbon dioxide emission. So understood friends here, they will save 77 lakh barrels worth of oil and 6 lakh tons of carbon dioxide emissions they are preventing okay and in spite of this benefits indians or india's public transit authorities have been reluctant to induct them into their fleet why their higher cost make them prohibitive for city transit authorities reeling under financial duress which means states which are suffering from financial duress are unable to buy them well, a standard 1 meter Electra BYD e bus cost 2 crore. 2 crore a bus means which is almost high, very high compared to a normal bus. A similar CNG bus is priced at just 48 lakh rupees and a diesel one even less. Okay. However, e buses do have an economic advantage over conventional buses in the long term as they are cheaper to operate and maintain. As promised earlier, I'm going to give you a stock in this sector uh, which has a future prospect uh, looks very prom promising and very green so here i am going to uh, present about a company called Electra green tech limited it is formally known as goldstone infratech limited okay it is a listed company you can find this one on nse and bse okay if you see this company Electra green tech uh, has you know multiple businesses okay and it is into co composite insulators manufacturing amorphous core distribution transformers they are into data analysis, IT consulting, and electric buses manufacturing. So it is a Hyderabad-based company, and the promoters of this company are MEIL, Mega Engineering Infra Limited. So here, uh, coming to the uh, Electra, uh, it has a bus called K9. The highlights of the bus you can see disc brakes, okay, uh, monocoque chassis in wheel drive, regeneration braking kneeling mechanism front and rear air suspension long range on single charge these are some of the features of this bus they have many other buses also and if you see some of the uh, unique selling proposition or uh, uh, core features of this bus are 100 percent emission free they don't emit any gases or or you know into the gases or dangerous gases into the air and it is uh, completely designed and tested for indian roads 
So already 108 uh, Electra BYD buses commercially operating in India and 15 city trails are completed in India and 70 lakhs, uh, 78 lakhs uh, savings in fuel cost already and uh, 5 lakh uh, kilometer covered in India and 1 lakh uh, 70,000 liters of diesel avoided and 2,700 trees to achieve some carbon dioxide reduction in one year. So if you see, uh, this is a bus which has been uh, recently launched by Mr. President of India uh, in uh, Silvasa Smart City and this bus is currently operational. And here I have plotted a stock return versus Sensex return. You, you can see the one month return is 30% against the Sensex return of 14.9% and the five year return is the 409.09% against 26.46% of Sensex and 10 year return is 173.68 against a Sensex return of 100.13%. So here coming to the monthly charts of the stock. If you see uh, currently the stock is facing a resistance around a monthly chart resistance levels of 78 rupees. So once this stock uh, breaks this 77, 78 level, it can slowly reach 155 levels on a monthly basis. And the RSA is also trending upward at 35 levels. And here I suggest you people to maintain a strict stop loss of 55 on monthly closing basis. So coming to the daily charts of the stock, the stock key is uh, facing a resistance around 77 78 levels again so and it has a great support at uh, 63 64 levels i suggest uh, you people someone who has entered into this stock should maintain a strict stop loss of 64 rupees if the stock is failing uh, to hold this 64 level support uh, please do exit and once this stock breaks uh, 78 on the upper side it can reach 108 levels also and the RSI is also supporting at 59-60 levels which means uh, there is a bullish momentum in the stock. I easily feel if the stock is held for 2-2.5 two, two years it can give you 100% returns and uh, I request you people to you know strictly uh, watch this stock. Uh, thank you all. Please follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Telegram at uh, TechnoTrade111. Thank you all. Have a great day.